Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is April 16th, 2018. The videos we will be viewing just came in yesterday from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams in Alaska. Each frame in these videos is 10 minutes. Our first video shows the tiger's eye appearance orb that we saw a couple weeks ago on this same northwest facing weather cam located in Toke, Alaska. It is always seen next to the red planet. Whenever we see the red planet, this planet is close by, but often hidden behind chemtrailed skies because it is further away. The west-facing weather cam in Tenakee Springs, Alaska, shows the large, striped planet that we've been seeing from many of these weather cams. It is difficult to catch because it is further away than the red planet that we see frequently, and thus more hidden by the atmospheric chemicals. In this photo, you can see how misty the sky looks from the atmospheric spraying. Something important to note is that this planet is not stationary in these frames. It is moving westward, at least from our perspective here as the Earth rotates. The west-facing weather cam in Sitka, Alaska captured the black positioning beam that we've often seen. You may have heard me mention the jet that produces very colorful and oddly shaped reflections that swing across the screens in thousands of these photos. The jet picks up this signal and within one or two frames is always positioned close to the sun, causing the pink reflections. Here is the jet, which is always present during either an eclipse or a near eclipse. This jet is seen in thousands of these FAA images, but most of the time it goes unnoticed because it's so tiny. To save time, I took these images from a video last month. It hasn't changed. Here is a close-up picture of that jet, thanks to permission by the YouTube channel Mr. MBB333. I'm assuming it's more of a remotely controlled machine because it's so transparent. Many, many people left comments saying that they could not view the asteroid update video a couple days ago. Either their screens went completely black or the YouTube buffering malfunctioned. So I'm going to add the asteroid update here in hopes that the video does not malfunction again. These April 14th images are from the southwest facing camera at the Richardson Elmendorf military base just outside Anchorage. You must have a very good computer screen to be able to see the asteroid in each frame. Just in case anyone is having trouble seeing it, I've placed an arrow uh, next to it, pointing to it in each frame. Here is the latest path comparison of the asteroid. The red line was March 24th. The yellow line is April 1st. The ba black line is April 7th and the white line is from just a couple days ago, April 14th. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that it's getting lower each week. Many people help, left helpful comments telling us that the reason the latest path, the white line, is more curved than the other weeks is because the asteroid is in an unstable declining orbit and the closer it gets to Earth the more, the more curved its path is going to get. The Bible's book of Revelation describes two of these objects plum plummeting to earth. I believe this is one of those two objects. The Bible gives us much hope when facing these disasters. Please read the following screens carefully so that you can have hope and joy in the midst of these things. <laughs> 